With privacy on the rise, targeting individuals on social media and through paid ads is becoming harder and harder for marketers. Employee advocacy goes hand in hand with privacy regulation and is an effective way to work with and around them rather than against them. Here we'll explore how advocacy allows you to reach the right people without breaching privacy by taking advantage of the potential of the organic networks of your employees. With social media platforms tightening privacy policies and restricting the organic reach of posts made through company pages, getting through to the right audience has become an increasingly tough job. While the European General Data Protection Regulation Law and other privacy restrictions on social media have considerably improved consumers' experience of the web, they've also made the job of marketers harder and harder. Remember Apple's update to iOS 14.5? Even those of us who are not iOS users will at some point have heard or read about that somewhere. What was so special about it is that it introduced the app tracking transparency tool, um, causing every app to ask the user's permission to track behaviors and share that data with third parties. Since then, there's been an even bigger number of issues when it comes to targeting people on smartphones. Because the priority is protecting and safeguarding individuals' personal information and data, it's now easier not to be profiled, to opt out of cookies, and block the tracking of app usage behavior. On top of all that, social media channels are heavily cracked down in terms of the amount of data that you can gather. Targeting people with paid ads or on Facebook has also become a more challenging endeavor since GDPR requires people to consent to the tracking and the sharing of personal data. And of course, most people choose to deny it. That explains why marketers feel like they're just basically shooting blanks more often than not. The problem with restrictions is that they cripple the reach of more aggressive marketing methods. With people turning off tracking tools, there's no way to be as accurate anymore. So how can we replace targeted ads without bumping into the walls of privacy? Of course, there's nothing quite as effective as targeting people directly, let's be realistic. And to be fair, there was a need for limitations to protect aggressive marketers from themselves. In order to keep digital platforms and social media a viable marketing area, the user always has to find value above intrusion. Otherwise, the danger exists that they will look for more even severe privacy limiting tools or sometimes even abandon the experience altogether. So as a marketer, it also makes sense to cap these seemingly limitless possibilities to preserve the opportunities. But that doesn't mean that the same results, which is business growth, can still be achieved. If you think about it, these privacy regulations want us to look back to the roots, to have social media do what they were born to do which is sharing and delivering valuable information to establish genuine connections. The same way people prefer talking to a real person from a help desk, suggestions and advertising works best when it comes from a person and not an algorithm. Influence through peers, not through search history. To harness the power of the organic kind of social media, you can take advantage of some well-known platforms like Hootsuite uh, or Buffer. They are excellent tools to grip, uh, to have a grip on your individual social media game, letting you create and schedule posts flawlessly. The problem is scaling, of course. You see, they pretty much only cater to one single account or page, and usually the company page. Great for individuals, much less for organizations, as they're neither able to expand your network nor approach people with personalized messaging. Both are crucial, though, if you want to search, if you want to reach and resonate like the personalized targeting was able to. To take full advantage of the power of the organic marketing, we need a better stage and a better stage crew. For every company page, there are X amount of people connected, employees for example, who are connecting on a much higher level. So given the chance, wouldn't you as a marketer want to enable them to socially market your product, services or messaging as well? Instead of letting algorithms butter your audience, let your existing network do what it does best, connect. 
Advocacy is all about enabling and taking advantage of existing, established, and trusted human connections. Sponsored advertising alone doesn't stand a chance in generating trust. When an ad pops up on social media, people often see just another faceless brand desperately trying its hand at selling something. There is no human-to-human -human interaction there. There is no authenticity, no credibility. The product or service is the only thing that might persuade. And unless the offer is really, really good, there will mostly be just annoyance and detachment. Your peers have the power to gain the trust of the people they reach through a social media network because the messaging hinges on the existing personal connection. Because you know the people in your network, you are able to choose the right words to speak to them. This means that a peer's network is the perfect place for that person to raise brand awareness, recruit, or even sell. Advocacy extends your reach without meddling with privacy, stimulates social sharing, and ups your social selling game. You and your company can take advantage of that bond to create durable business connections and tackle business challenges, whether it be recruiting new talent, building up your employer brand, or socially marketing your product. So while advocacy may not deliver the same convenience or sheer reach of targeted ads, it does provide the opportunity to build long-lasting relations with your audience, and therefore with your brand and its product or services. Advocacy doesn't try to bypass privacy, but it works within its boundaries and still manages to stimulate social sharing and enrich your marketing with a more authentic experience. A genuine experience based on the roots and core of social media platform is something we can all agree we should really go back to sooner rather than later.